At this hour, Mayor Brandon Johnson meets behind closed doors with legislative leaders in Springfield. The mayor is there looking for more money for Chicago public schools, even as lawmakers rebuke his hand-picked Board of Education this afternoon. Our political reporter, Tamon Bradley, is following. Ben and Lourdes, today Mayor Johnson took his wish list to Springfield, but he's up against budget concerns and election year politics. Today, Chicago Mayor Brandon Johnson in Springfield for closed door talks with leaders. His private schedule included visits with Governor Pritzker, House Speaker Emanuel Chris Welch, and GOP House Leader Tony McCombie. Ahead of the trip, the mayor told reporters the visit is an effort to secure funding for Chicago. The families of Chicago are owed $1 billion from the state of Illinois in order to build a better, stronger, safer city. As he negotiates a new contract with the Chicago Teachers Union, Johnson is specifically looking for more dollars for education. But according to Governor Pritzker's office, state funding for CPS has increased by 14 percent, or $264.8 million from 2019 to 2024. And over the last five years, CPS has received an increase of $1,542 per student. With a group of black Chicago City Council members in the gallery, State Representative Justin Slaughter addressed the need for more resources. Fairness and equity are critical and must be at the forefront if we're going to achieve social and economic progress for the black community. The push for a CPS funding boost may not be well received. Today, Governor Pritzker sent agency leaders this memo urging them to prepare for budget cuts. Also of note, against Mayor Johnson's wishes, the Senate Executive Committee passed legislation that would extend a moratorium on closing Chicago public schools, including selective enrollment and magnet ones. Allies of Mayor Johnson have hinted they'd like to prioritize neighborhood schools over selective enrollment campuses. And the Chicago Teachers Union calls the bill racist. And that meeting with Speaker Welch was scheduled to begin about a half hour ago. The mayor will be overnighting in Springfield. The Illinois AFL-CIO and the Chicago Federation of Labor are holding a legislative open house with Johnson tomorrow morning. Ben and Lourdes. Thank you, Tamon.